Well, hello there. And how are you? It's good to be with you again. We're going to talk a little bit about pirates today. I wonder what you know about pirates. What would you call a pirate that had three eyes? A pie eye irat. Do you know why pirates take so long to learn their alphabet? Because they spend years stuck at sea. And what's a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? R. Today, I'm going to look for hidden treasure. And I'd like you to come with me and see what we can find. But the hidden treasure I'm looking for today isn't to be found buried on a desert island, nor is it to be found hidden in a cave. Nobody apart from pirates keeps their treasure buried on desert islands or hidden in caves these days. They lock things that are valuable up in a safe or they keep them close where they can keep an eye on them. That's where I keep my treasure, close at home, so I can take it out every once in a while and have a look. Do you want to see inside the box? Or do you want to have a guess? Can you guess what's inside my treasure chest? Precious stones, diamonds and jewels, gold and silver, coins worth a fortune. Will we look? Or will I give you a clue? I think I'll give you a clue. There's a story in the Bible about treasure. And I'll read it to you now and see if you can work out just what that treasure is. One day each year, Jesus, Mary and Joseph went up to the temple in Jerusalem. One year, when Jesus was 12, they took him with them as well. And when everything was finished, Jesus stayed in the city and his parents went home without him. Mary and Joseph thought that he was with the other children and they only found out that he had disappeared when nighttime came. So they went all the way back to Jerusalem and looked for him everywhere. After three days of looking, they found him at last in the temple school with the other children. He was listening to the teachers and asking questions. The teacher thought he was very clever. Mary was very glad to see him, but she asked him why, what he'd been doing and told him how much they'd been worried. Jesus told them he was sorry, but then he said, all the same, you shouldn't have been worried. You should have known I'd be here in my father's house. Mary and Joseph didn't understand what he meant. However, he went back to Nazareth again with them and grew up there. And Mary treasured these things in her heart. Has that given you a clue what might be in my treasure chest? Is it time now to open it and have a look? Okay, let's open it. I'll just move this box out of the way. Oh, you didn't think that was the treasure chest? No, this is the treasure chest. This is where I keep my really precious things. Would you like to see what they are? I'll show you. There's an old French ticket from 1980. No, there's an old French ticket from 1997. There's a photograph. There's another piece of paper from 1980 saying I was a member of something. And there's a ticket for London transport. I think it was a bus ticket. 
and there's a broken piece of pot and there's a pointy thing that looks like a bullet but it's made out of stone it's a plastic number with 2000 on it and last there's a little stone and that's it that's what's in my treasure chest but you know what my treasure really isn't the things themselves you might have guessed that because they don't look very valuable do they but they're very valuable to me Take the photograph. That's a picture of my dad and my brother and me having a picnic in a little place in Wales called Llanfair Tal Hearn. I don't know what it means. My mum was there too. She was the one taking the picture. And when I look at the picture, it reminds me of that day and it was a wonderful day and it was a wonderful picnic you see what we're wearing my brother and i have got shirts and ties on my dad too who goes for a picnic wearing a shirt and tie these days it's a long time ago but it was a very special place we didn't go there often but it was always wonderful when we did and we had chicken drumsticks and hard-boiled eggs and sandwiches and lemonade and there was a river and we went swimming and paddling in the river it was just a wonderful day and looking at that picture it brings back all those memories and it brings back all those feelings and every time I see that picture I just feel happy it reminds me of a happy time and a happy place. What about the stone bullet? That's actually, um, it's a fossil. What's it called? I think it's called a Benamite. A Bemanite? Benamite. Something like that. It's like a, a squid, but it's from hundreds of millions of years ago. It used to swim in the oceans. And I remember the day that I found it. I was out for a walk with some friends and we had a fantastic day. We'd been out all day and on the way back, we were near some earth that had just been dug and we found some fossils. It was in the same place that I came across this. I was working on an archeological excavation and we dug up all sorts of fascinating things and I learned all sorts of new skills and made new friends. And that's just a little piece of pot that I found. It's Roman. It's nearly 2000 years old. The French ticket from 1997. So I went to France to see some friends and they took me to a wonderful place called Puy de Fou. And it was a fantastic show, performance, with hundreds and hundreds of people outside at night. They had real cannons firing and knights in armor charging and knocking each other off horses. There was a horse that walked across water. It looked as if they'd burnt down a great chateau, but they hadn't really, it was just an illusion. And the following day, I went back with the friends and some of their friends as well, and there's a, a whole village, a whole center, all around the history of the area. It was a wonderful night and a wonderful day and some wonderful friends. Ticket doesn't really mean much to anybody, but to me it's valuable because it brings back memories. It brings back feelings of happiness and joy. The badge, the 2000, that's off the first car I ever had. 
and the bus ticket and the little ticket from 1980. Ah, well, some of my treasures aren't for sharing. They're just for remembering and smiling. Bet that's not what you thought was going to be in my treasure chest. It's not the things that are of value, but it's what they help me remember. It's what they represent. And every time I open it, it brings back all sorts of happy memories and brings me a lot of happiness. Last week, we talked about some of you leaving St. Ninian's and beginning on new schools soon. I'm sure you've collected lots of happy memories while you've been at the school. And those of you who are still there are still busy collecting memories. I wonder if any of those will find their way into your treasure chest, your box of memories in years to come. Even now, we're gathering memories, some of which may prove to be really valuable, precious to us. Not everything that's happened in my past has been good and happy. There have been sad times and difficult times too. But they're not the things that I choose to treasure and to keep in my treasure chest. The things I keep are the things that make me happy. And whenever I need a little smile, if there's no one else around to help me find it, I can just open my little treasure box and think of some of the happy times that I've enjoyed and the people I've enjoyed it with. So let us pray. Let us thank God for all the good memories we have and ask him to bless us with many more. God our Father, we know that all good gifts come from you. May we treasure them always. May we be truly grateful for all the kindness and the love that is shown us. May we treasure those moments, those people, those places in our hearts, just as Mary treasured her time with your son. May we give you thanks for all that is good in our lives. May we thank one another for the goodness and the happiness that we share with one another. May we give rise to happiness in other people and may others find us worthy of a place in their treasure chest of memories. May we find something to be grateful for every day. We ask you to bless us with happiness and with joy. We make our prayer through Jesus, your Son. Amen. Thanks once again. Maybe you want to think of collecting some memories and putting them in your own memory chest. Keeping little tokens, little mementos that help you remember times when you are really happy. Bye for now. God bless.